we're back to the last part of the Transcendence podcast, guys. This time, it's my topic, and it's actually a, uh, a mix of a movie review slash redemption. Damn. Because, guys, finally it happened, and Sirosh called it. Sirosh actually called it back when Batman vs. Superman gave us a beautiful movie, and then Suicide Squad came, <laughs> yeah. and it was even more amazing. Finally. Oh, you're being sarcastic right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Like everything, I'm always sarcastic. <laughs> I can't always tell. Yeah. Of course, it's okay, Kareem. I forgive you the same way I have forgive you for liking Batman vs Superman, but that's fine, <laughs> guys. Finally, we got a good DC movie yes. that everybody enjoyed. It had like yes. what, like ninety eight percent on on tomatoes. Yeah, it's it amazing. Great, and yeah. Saroj called it like a lot of times that for yeah, DC like to be that. even your bro came around. It was this was like a year be, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember. Like 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 for and to quote Sarosh, he said that for DC to come around, they need to be Wonder Woman to be a hit. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. And it ex- ex- it exceeded, exceeded expectations. Absolutely. Like, you know, everything about it, yeah. like everything from story to characters to visuals was amazing. Okay. Was insane, yeah. And if you haven't seen the movie yet, it's a fantastic movie. Go watch it. Like it's it's actually good. Like yeah. it's it tackles yeah. a good stuff. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it twice. So the two, I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing it for a third time. Oh, yeah? yeah. So, yeah no way. Taking my parents to see it. Nice. I would actually see it again, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I want to see it in 4D, too. man. You want to do 4D? Yeah, yeah let's, do it. let's do it. That would be good, dude. That would be good. That would be good. But yeah, it was just great for the whole, you know, female audience and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Movies and for sure. Yeah. So it's, it's our review is going to have three parts. Yeah. Story, yeah. style, and substance. Absolutely. Okay. So, guys, before we begin the movie review we just want to give a little warning that from this point onwards we're gonna go into the spoiler territory okay yeah, yeah. it's been so, out for weeks man yeah so if you haven't seen it don't watch it after uh, after this but if you have then stay tuned okay? watch the movie absolutely so we'll start off with the style okay style okay. yeah style was great perfect it was awesome and that's it <laughs> Oh, it actually had color. It had color. And okay, red. okay. That's exactly what I was going to say. Okay, because it was it was bright. It was colorful. It was nice. It was a bit darker tone when mm. they got to London. Yeah. It was darker tone. The same shading as like Batman versus Superman. But, you know, the but more she fought. Like I just want to add it, a little it, bit to it, that. It made sense, though. Because yeah. it's World War Two, exactly, right? exactly, exactly, and one, it made sense. One, one, one. Yes, yes. Sorry, yeah, steam that engines and coal yeah. burning. Absolutely, it was okay. a dark time. And there were babies out of bathtubs. Yeah, the whole style and the pacing of the movie was like amazing, right? Because it was like you start off at this, you know. Oh at man, the, yeah. Talking yeah. about style, Amazon. Can we talk about the mascara. Yeah, it man, exactly. So like, woo, uh, the mascara was amazing, dude. Oh, yeah. It looked like a vacation spot I never want to leave. <laughs> yeah. It's so amazing. Paradise Island. The whole, Paradise Island. The whole Greek mythology and Absolutely. Yo, great. the visual oh, yeah. in the beginning uh, where they, they explain they, everything. The gods, oh, it's amazing, dude. Arrow. It hooks amazing. you. It hooks yeah. you to the movie. Oh, yeah. It hooks you in. Like, it just starts off strong, okay? And then the moment on, you know, the pacing, the, the, uh, the color shading. And then when we first get into the action scenes, the first fight inside you know the beach when, scene you know, yeah the uh, uh, beach scene it's oh, amazing like, jumping in the you air see three arrows how the, uh, flipping up a horse amazon's like fight and then they're like this pace with like these brand new cons and stuff and they're still thinking that it's Aries, you know causing this stuff yeah and then but the thing that sold the movie like that just just completely took the fans in was the second like fight scene the no ones where line. yeah a no man's the, land. Yeah. that scene starts off perfectly man mm-hmm. it's just that you know what steve keeps like telling her you no go. you can't go and then she just gets up to like screw no, this shit i it's wonder what woman I I goes in takes everything i thought that was a bit like cheesy when she was just walking it's like oh, teesh, teesh, yeah. she kept getting stronger yeah yeah, yeah. and then boom man that shield. one scene that <laughs> shield she just goes in, goes ham, all like Captain America, just like <laughs> leave that guy aside, just goes in. And then that scene where she just, you know, just blasts through uh, 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 
like the uh, uh, the building and stuff. Dude. And then it yeah. goes into like the Takes slow portion. Sniper. And then yeah. her theme music like kicks in. Mm-hmm. Damn, yeah. man, it's it so great. cool. Yeah. Definitely, definitely good. It's great, man. It, it's, it's, great. It's, it's great. And then the wolf. And then the final action scene, with, of with, course, with, was uh, Aries. Aries. Yeah. Professor was, Lupin. Which, <laughs> which was actually something that it actually made like sense too. Because like... In a DC movies, you have these extremely extraordinary, like strong people. Yeah. Okay, like everybody's like the Hulk from Marvel or something. So to have an action scene like that at a large scale at the end was perfect. Yeah. Because the whole time I'm thinking, you know, Ares isn't going to be there. There's going to be no fight scene, but it was. You were doubting? Yeah, yeah, because like I was like, you know, it has happened before. We've been teased something, yeah, and, and it doesn't it's, do it. yeah, it's okay. but it was there. It was fulfilling. It was like great, and the whole like style throughout the end, it kept its promise. Yeah, and I just have to say, the starting at the end and the ending was perfect because it ends. all started from a photo that she was looking at that Bruce Very Wayne sent. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Just just to add a little bit on the styles aspect, yeah. two people I gotta you gotta get credit to is Patty Jenkins and the Patty cinematographer. Jenkins. Oh yeah, they were dude the shots. They were insane. The wide angle shots yeah. of Temescara, yeah. and then you know the war, and then at oh, the yeah. end like the. There whole, were a like, lot of money f- shots that oh, sold yeah. this movie. <laughs> These you know shots what I mean? are beautiful, man. Especially yeah. the one where uh, like one that that stuck with me was when uh, when Steve's plane first lands. Yes, and yes, you see yes. like a pan. When she's looking at the plane and stuff, yeah, and it was, it was just great. It yeah. was just great. Well, my my favorite scene from that thing was when she jumps off the cliff, and yeah. then you see her like dive yeah. under yeah. water, and you see the water. water too. Yeah, you just see the camera just go like under How the, the water. Go under the water. That was CG. Yeah, CG, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It was but CG, yeah, but really it was cool. like great, man. It was great. We'll get some of that in Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah keep keep uh, Patty Jenkins on your hot list, man. Yeah, absolutely, great. man. Maybe yeah. she'll do a Star Wars movie. Uh, uh, yeah. Bad. Hopefully. Definitely right. a stylish movie. Mm-hmm. Audio yeah. and visually. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's move uh, on to the... Story. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's talk about story. The story was great. So, like, so the first thing that this ne- movie needed to be, it needed to have heart. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A lot of DC movies in the past, yeah. like, they were just... They didn't. They didn't. Feel, they didn't feel lighthearted. They didn't feel, you know, like oh, yeah, comedy. <laughs> yeah, like, comedy. Exactly. Yeah. So it was. That was. Those elements are very important in this. In this story, comedy wasn't actually coming. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't forced. To, uh, Chris Pine. Steve it wasn't Pine. forced. It wasn't forced. Steve Trevor. Oh, yeah. yeah Steve Trevor was great. It wasn't forced at all. You know, it was all mm. natural, comedic. The, the jokes average. were like great, and the chemistry between the two characters. Beautiful. Yeah. You know, it was. Amazing. It was. It well. It worked very well, and uh, so the story the, throughout the whole movie it was very well paced. Yeah. There was very few scenes that you felt like they they didn't need to be there. If and if anything, there was none because this movie barely had like any flaws. In terms of story wise, uh, you could say near the far. end. You can say near the end, but like, but but well, I'll, I'll leave that for for the yeah, end. Yeah. But like, uh, but for like the first act and the second act, it was going it was going very smoothly. You know, mm-hmm. like everything was picking up very mm-hmm. fast. There was like beat after beat. There was one beat, and then you know mm-hmm. it was it was another yeah. story. I'm a beats. spy. <laughs> <laughs> that part killed me. <laughs> I just remember. Yeah. I don't know why I remember. Yeah. I was by the, the last. Remember? The last I just remembered when a year ago you said, that, you know, Wonder Woman needs to be hit. I said, it's because my boy Chris, Chris Pine, Pine. Yeah. is going to be in there. Yeah. yeah. And he was great in solid it. He was acting. great in he it. He was solid so good acting. In it. He was kind of the everyman. You know? He was yeah. great, dude. He gets to see them. He's here, such a badass do. spy, though, man. Yeah. He Badass infiltration, escaping. Gets, gets the book, steals the plane, blows it up in like five minutes. Yeah, yeah he he blows up the entire factory. He's just like, yo, here's a grenade. Yeah, <laughs> bye bye, bye bye. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting yeah. you. No, <laughs> no, but yeah, like throughout the whole movie, it was just it was just great pacing and great mm-hmm. like you know good comedic timing, yeah. good. Thing. And then near the end, that's when we got like the whole grand battle of, yeah. with, with Wonder Woman and Ares. Now, in terms of story wise, you can you kind of don't know what Ares' motive was. Like mm-hmm. you know, in the beginning, he's sending her out. He sh- like I don't know if Ares knew that was Wonder Woman or not, mm-hmm. but she he was just like sen- sending her out to like 
okay, yeah, go kill this guy in 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 uh in in like no man's land and stuff. He was giving and but then at the end we found out that that guy was like undercover. He was playing both sides. Yeah. 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 His his whole thing actually paid sense, right? Because in the end, and it's actually beautiful because it showed that Wonder Woman, her whole life, she thinks that people do bad things because He's Ares there. makes them, right? Yeah. But Ares actually explains that, you know what? I, I don't do Whispers all these things. Ear. Yeah, it's I just there. plan the ideas in there. Yeah. And Ares then I just wait for them. Is really cool. See, that's the thing. It's a very universal story. You know yeah. what I mean? That's yeah. why I feel like it got attached to a lot of audiences. That's why they enjoyed yeah. it more. Yeah. Yeah. It was really relatable, man. I, I was yeah. really glad they had that twist because when very we, good twist. Okay, we, by saying like, uh, we were led to believe exactly, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Ares was the German general. I forget his name. Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of a little cheesed at that because I'm like, that's kind of cheap if you just blame all of Germany's aggression on mm-hmm. Aries mm-hmm. and then and how does that leave the Americans like they're just as aggressive in war both sides are wrong when you mm-hmm. fight both sides are wrong yeah that's yeah yeah and, and that's and, exactly and, 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 and that's exactly so you say, oh, Aries is bad guy so he's with the Germans yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's way too simplistic and yeah. that's exactly what happened in the movie like at one point yeah. like yeah. Uh, like well, Hunter Woman was questioning like Steve Rogers as well uh, the Ro- Ro- uh, Steve Sorry, Tre- my bad. Yeah. <laughs> ever as well, yeah. right? Because like, why are they still fighting? Yeah, like, <laughs> no, 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 like, because like Steve Trevor was saying that we've done yeah, uh, things as like, well. Yeah, like, I'm like, a thief, like, yeah, I'm a yeah, murderer. Yeah, yeah, like every everybody's I'm a liar. Just, yeah. yeah, so yeah, war brings out the worst in us, and th- th- I think the theme of the movie was sort of corruption. Yeah, and talk, so it's not like we're talking about substance now. Yeah, mm-hmm. like so sort of what I'll, another thing I enjoyed was that the feminism was not heavy-handed. It didn't come out saying, okay, all men are bad. Not mm-hmm. just Germany, not just Americans, and all mm-hmm. men are bad. Because mm-hmm. even women can be corrupted. You know, Dr. Poison. Yeah. She was corrupted. So it wasn't heavy She was poisoned. Oof. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Anyways. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was a natural story mm-hmm. set in the real world-ish, you know, from a, a Wonder Woman's point of view. Yeah, yeah. And she was just fighting for equality and love. And those are universal. Yeah. We should all treat each other fairly. And mm-hmm. love should bring us all together. Nothing yeah. about, you know, women being better than men, men being better than women. Yeah, exactly. Whatever your ethnicity, your gender, come together. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Love should bind us together. And that's a universal theme. Mm-hmm. So I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Being a, you know, rising above any little prejudices that have existed. I, I think that society definitely needs to improve on our equality Mm -hmm. we're far from gender equality Mm -hmm. but this is a good step forward this is a good way to promote equality Mm -hmm. rather than saying you know feminism and sometimes Mm -hmm. people get really defensive Mm -hmm. about the word feminism they think it's an attack on masculinity right yeah so just promote equality promote love and Mm -hmm. that's what wonder woman did and those are her real ideals which is great like it was true to form it was we're similar to to her origins yeah and it was pretty cool too because it was like a strong female strong female character but the male guy was pretty cool too he was good too yeah he they, they had good, it was good, good yeah. yeah and they worked together neither of them were you know hero and in distress they both had their ups own and things yeah exactly I just wanted to add uh, just finally we got like a movie with like a female lead that was like a huge blockbuster hit you know That's over true, the years yeah. we don't Alien, have that Alien 1 Sigourney Weaver superhero movie yeah or like it's been a I don't know if that was a blockbuster hit I know it was like a cult classic but uh, as like a blockbuster hit that made a ton of money and stuff Force Awakens well that's kind of like an ensemble nah you can't you can't do that you can't do that it's Star Wars it's the franchise it's the franchise dude the Beast (laughs) I mean the Beast in there Beauty (laughs) Well, like I've, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's the only movie, but like it's, it's after a while we've seen one superhero. You know? yeah. yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So it's, it's great to see this, uh, like trend. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. keep Hopefully going. More. Yeah. Maybe uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Oh Khan. yeah, oh yeah, man. Captain there Marvel is gonna come. Yeah. When cool. is Black Widow gonna get a movie, dude? I don't think she's ever getting a movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's not. been there since like Iron Man two. Yeah. Poor woman. Poor there. Yeah, well, we'll get a Wonder Woman sequel. For sure. Yeah. See, now I'm more excited to see her in the Justice League. 
Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fantastic. This basically gives us hope for Justice League. Now, Absolutely. You know what I mean? That's what I said. I said like Wonder Woman needed to be a hit for for us to like regain our trust back towards DC and the Justice League. And this is exactly what it did. You know, it, it moved. They're moving in the right direction. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, so yeah, now now I'm now I'm stoked for Justice League, man. Mm-hmm. I'm good me, to go. I want to point out one thing. What? Zack Snyder was signed to a multi-picture deal. Mm-hmm. David Ayer, who did Suicide Squad, got a multi-picture deal. Yeah. Heidi Jenkins only got a one-picture deal. And that's why she worked hard on it. Yeah. She worked hard regardless. Come on. I don't know about that. What? No. Are you seriously questioning her? No, I don't. I don't think. No. I don't think it was because of credit. Like, oh, I'll just do good in the next one. It was, right? He's being sarcastic. He's being sarcastic. <laughs> It's obviously because of. Uh, <laughs> so why hasn't Warner Brothers signed the deal yet, man? Yeah, man, they need to. Sign her. No, I'm yeah. pretty. Sh- I'm pretty I'm sure, sure they're a- gonna watch this script. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's inevitable. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's. A- <laughs> sorry, we keep him key. He's yeah. not finishing today. Okay. Go yeah, I'm sorry. pretty sure it's inevitable that she's gonna get the second movie. Oh, it's for just, sure, man. They were just probably trying to play it safe to you know. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they won't, they won't. It wouldn't be like another bomb. Then what like, they like, would have like Suicide Squad nice was so disappointing. Exactly. They still wow. Me, still even you me, think so? It was forgettable. It was worse than that. It was forgettable. Damn, yeah, I've yeah. never heard Kareem say that, <laughs> say yeah. I'm that saying, I'm saying movie was bad. Movie. Whoa. Mm. Was That's weird. Anyway. Yo, but so, yeah. Batman was in it. Yeah, for 30 seconds. Flash was yeah. in it. For two seconds. For two seconds. Because <laughs> he's fast. <laughs> Get it? You were the Suicide Squad? Uh, yeah. And he stopped some guy to bank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where was Wonder Woman in Suicide Squad? She could have taken out Enchantress in a minute. And that was yeah. all about Harley, though. That was the thing. Harley yeah, and an Enchantress. Weird. It didn't make any sense. Flash could have ran inside and <laughs> done everything. They could have at least said, away, we're busy over here. <laughs> if you want to see all our problems, you can go to our <laughs> episode. <laughs> for Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad episode. Review. Do we have one? Where we reviewed. Yeah, we do. Well, we do. I don't know if you were there yet. You weren't there at the time. It was me. It was, it was great. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. I think that's it for the review for Wonder Woman and the tri Sadness podcast. If you want to check us out, we are available on... Uh, the internet. The internet under tri Sadness podcast and the channel Project Pandemonium. That's Panda. Like the bear. Like the bear, Monium. And I just unplugged my headphones, but that's okay because we are also available on our audio platforms over at SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Musics. Music, not musics. <laughs> you never know. Could be more than one. I'm your host, Vas. Joining me is Kareem, and we have Sarosh on the far left. Take care, stay safe. Hand drive <laughs> safe. And why do you always have to add? I just did the same thing. I <laughs> take care, stay safe. Be safe. All right, guys. Be humble. Take care. Yeah, be be humble, guys. Please. Love, love okay. One another. A lot of you are assholes. Okay. Be, please be humble. <laughs> please be humble. Okay. Goodbye. Peace, Peace out. <laughs>